Hello everyone, let's look at this integral with the cube root right here. So for this cube root, sometimes when we see this kind of problem, the first thing that will come to our mind would be to do a u sub, right? But for this integral here, we actually do not need to do a substitution. We can simply just reverse the chain rule and then we actually can come up with the antiderivative of the integrand. And so how do we do that? Let's do the problem. Okay, so first we are going to start by rewriting the function as 2x plus 1, and then raised to the 1 over 3 power. OK. So now um, we can, because this is in the form of a power function, we can use the general power rule. So we can try to reverse the power rule that we have for the differentiation. So what do we get here? We are going to have leave some space in the front, right? So we have 2x plus 1, okay? And then we have the 1 over 3 right here, and then we need to add 1 to the power. So we need to add 1. And in this case, once we add the 1, then we are going to be getting what 1 over 3 plus 1. 1 is what 3 over 3 in this case, so that's going to give us 4 over 3. So our new power would be 4 over 3. And so what do we need to put in the front? We actually can reverse the power rule by doing what we multiply by the reciprocal of this new power here. The new power is four over three, so the reciprocal of it is three over four. So we are going to put three over four in the front. Okay, so that's good, but that's not finished yet. We also need to reverse the effect of the chain rule. What happened is that when we differentiate, let's say this is the already the antiderivative. When we differentiate this function, what happened is that we also need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. In this case, because the inner function is a linear function, so we are just going to get a what a number that we are multiplying to this function here. And that number will be two. To get rid of that two, we actually need to do what? We need to multiply by its reciprocal. So in this case, we need to multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient of this x right here. So that would be 1 over 2. This is how we reverse the effect of the chain rule. And then, of course, there was still the um, constant integration right here, but that's not something that we need to worry about too much. We can just put a plus c right here, and then we have that. And then basically that's the answer, but then I need to clean up this expression right here to make it look simpler. So we are going to get what? We have three over eight, and then times two x plus one to the four over three, and then plus c. Okay, so how do we get three over eight? Three times the one, we get three. Four times the two, we get eight. And then we have all that. Okay, yeah. So just make a note right here. Um, this one over two is actually the reciprocal of the coefficient of the linear turn x. But one thing that's really important to remember is that we can only do this problem this way if the inner function is a linear expression. So if it's not a linear expression, like 2x squared plus 1, then we cannot do it this way. We probably have to try some other techniques, depending on the situation. Okay, so that's really important. And to analyze how all those numbers come together, we actually should just do the checking on differentiating this function and see if we are getting back to the original integrand and so that we can see how those numbers cancel each other out or how the chain rule is being um, reversed or how the power rule is being reversed. So let's try that and see what's going on. So I'm going to just quickly take the derivative of our final answer. So we differentiate 3 over 8, 3 over 8 and then 2x plus 1 to the 4 over 3. And then there was also the plus c, right? So 
but you know that when we differentiate that plus c, it's going to become zero. So now let's see what's going on. First, when we use, when we take the derivative, we do not need to worry about the three over eight. So we are just going to put it in the front and then now leave, and then we need to do what? We need to bring down this power when we differentiate according to the power rule, we bring the four over three to the front. So we get the four over three. And then we have the two X plus one. And then we get to subtract one from our original exponent. And when we take one over three plus one, we get four over three. So if we have four over three and we subtract one, then we are going to get one third. And then now we also need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is two. We get two and then the C will become zero. So now that's our function. And then we can try to do some simplifying right here. So let's see, when we try to simplify, we have what? We have the threes will get canceled. And then we have what? The two times the four is eight, eight divided by eight, so becoming one. And so, we are left with what 2x plus 1 raised to the 1 over 3 power. And do you see that that's actually the key root of 2x plus 1? And so our answer is correct, as you can see. And so there are two things that we need to worry about right here when we are integrating this function. One is when we deal with the power rule for integration is that we add one to our original power. And once we get the new power, we need to multiply that new, uh, the reciprocal of that new power in the front so that eventually when we differentiate the function, we can cancel out that coefficient. Okay, so the other thing is what? The other thing is that we are going to get an extra factor of two by differentiating the inner function. And so when we did the integration, we actually need to keep that in mind and then also multiply by the reciprocal of this extra two, this extra factor of the two so that we can cancel it. And then once all that is included in there, then we have our final answer. Okay, so that's how it works. But remember there is one thing that's really important is that we can only do it this way if you have a linear expression as an inner function. So if that's not a linear expression, then that's uh, that's not okay to do, okay? And then you gotta try some other techniques to do it. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and then give me some support and give me a like, leave me a comment. And then also please check out my other videos. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you.